In this video, I want to cover how to view industry group rotation for HGSI users. If you also have Edge Club software, uh, I'm going to show how to export the list of industry indexes into Metastock and then how to use that within Edge Club to see the rotation in a uh, graphical way. Now, if you have HGSI, you already know that when you come into the designer and you come down to industries, you get a list of uh, 146 industry groups. And these are indexes that are calculated from the stocks within those groups. And HGSI has a ranking module which gives you some idea of how the industry groups are changing with respect to each other. Um, what it shows you is information in columns, the most recent week being in the leftmost column. And you'll see the ranking value on the row that is for that particular industry group. And those values are between 1 and 99, 99 being the highest rank. Um, and you can change what function is being used for ranking by selecting uh, the options dialog here. And you might, for instance, want to have ranking based on uh, four-week percentage change. And then you can see right now it says real estate development index is at the top. But what you can't really see is, is to get a visual idea of how those rankings are changing. You can scan through this list. Uh, you can see the green, yellow, and red to give you a clue as to um, if, it's, if it's doing well, medium, or bad. But you can't really see how the particular index or industry group that you're looking at is changing with respect to the other industry groups. And so that's where EdgeRater comes in and I'm going to show you how to now get this data into EdgeRater and view this using the Alpha 21 symbol list ranker. So the first thing to do is you can't just connect to the HGSI database for looking at these indexes because when you make a request for a symbol, the symbols listed down here are just index. Um, so it doesn't make any sense to request index. HGSI has no idea of what index you're actually trying to request. So um, as opposed to using uh, stocks, you can make requests with EdgeRater for stocks directly against the HGSI database, and that's okay because it's able to resolve those symbols. But in this case for indexes, you can't do that. So the way to work that is to actually export this data into Metastock. And when it exports data into Metastock, it makes up a symbol for each of these industry groups. And we're then able to connect to that Metastock database from within EdgeRater. So I'm going to show you how to do that export right now. So go to the designer and in the designer go down through the tree until you get to uh, for the group database, the reference groups, then industries and sectors and then click on industries. Below industries are all of the actual industries with all of the components of those industries but we just want to click on the main industries group and indexes have been created for those subfolders and so what we're trying to do now is export those indexes so I'm clicking on industries I'm going to go to file Metastock utilities export groups and I need to make sure that I uncheck include all subgroups because I don't want to export the data for all of the individual subgroups and their components I just want to export the data for these indexes and uh, I'll choose a location to export that to and I'm just going to choose to export to my C drive to a, a folder that it's going to make up called Metastock Data and then a subfolder called Industries. So I'll just click OK here. It will export that data very quickly. It will be done and so it now has that information in Metastock. But there's one other step we need to do in here and that's to export a list of these symbols. Remember I said that the uh, symbol name is just index so that's you know not very good for accessing you can't really tell what the the group represents but by exporting the list as an ASCII symbol list it's now going to match that up with the symbols that it exported to Metastock so I'll go to ASCII utilities export group as a list and then I'll choose to export that to the standard location for EdgeRater symbol lists which is in the EdgeRater slash symbol lists folder and I'm just going to give this one the name of industries.lst and I'm going to make sure to um, not include subgroups I don't want all of the subgroups in there and I'm going to make sure to not exclude indexes because basically 
this list is all indexes and the format should be symbol comma name. Now I'll just click OK here and it will export that list and that step is done. So now we'll go into EdgeRater and we'll um, now import this data and start to use it within EdgeRater. So now I'm in EdgeRater, actually in the Edge Club software and uh, I'm going to set up my data provider to make sure that Metastock refers to the folder that I did the export to. So I just click on the home menu here, click on data providers and now for the Metastock provider, I don't need to make it the default provider, but what I want to do is make sure it gets its information from the location I did the export to, which I exported to C uh, slash Metastock data slash industries, but uh, I just need to set the provider to be pointing to the root of that location, which is C slash Metastock data. You could point it to slash industries if you wanted, but it's not necessary. So now I know that whenever uh, I configure a symbol list to use Metastock, it's going to look in this location for data. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to be using the Alpha 21 Symbol List Ranker. And so I go to the HGSI Woodward and Brown category on the right hand side here. In my list, it's the second most, uh, the second from top, but because of the ability to reorder these lists by dragging and dropping, you might find that anywhere in this list of categories. And the same applies to the actual templates within the category. My Alpha 21 Symbol List Ranker is the third uh, template down. And once I've set that, the Symbol List pane becomes enabled, allowing me to select a Symbol List. And I can choose the industries.lst list. There is no data currently in it because I need to extract the data from Metastock. So all I have to do here is click on Edit. I need to make sure the list is set up to look at the or use the Metastock data provider which it is and then all I need to do is hit update data and you'll see the data snapshot information as soon as it's extracted the data from Metastock will have the from and the to dates of the data for those indexes so you can see that I have one year's worth of data um, for each of the indexes and you can see what I was referring to by the change of symbol when HGSI did the export of the index, it gave uh, a special symbol for those indexes. You can't really discern from looking at the symbol what the index is. You have to then look at the security description to find out what the symbol refers to. So I have that information set in there now. I make sure I have the industries.lst list selected. And then it's a simple matter of just running the Alpha 21 symbol list ranker. So it's going to run that over the list of industry groups. When it's finished, you'll get a chart. And let me close down this pane over here to give a bit more screen for the video. And uh, one thing I want to show is, by default, the symbol data contains columns for the symbol, the description, the two date, and the time and this is end of day data but if I right click on the headers I can choose another column and the column I want to choose is alpha 21 relative strength and I can just pop that in there by dragging and dropping and now I can sort by that column to get the rankings in order so again real estate is real estate development index is at the top if we go to the right hand side I'll see the latest information for that the blue line represents the ranking and how ranking has changed over time compared to all of the other items that are in this symbol list. And the dotted line is the actual value for the index. So you see recently the index has been on a bit of a tear and you can see that the ranking of that index is kind of pegged at number one for uh, quite a few days. But over the history of this index it's been you know anywhere between number one and you know right down at the bottom at uh, number 146 uh, or, or thereabouts. And you can see what happened when it was at the bottom. The index was on in a bit of a sell-off, but as it then started recovering, the ranking changed to, um, to be better. And now if I select or highlight that symbol in the symbol list pane, I can then scroll down using my arrow keys on the keyboard, and I can see each of these indexes in turn to see the ranking and how they got to be that ranking. So I might get some idea of rotation using this method. I could see 
what things are being rotated into what's currently top I can do a reverse sort and uh, see what is currently bottom diversified banks is currently at the bottom of this particular ranking and I can see how it got there and what the index did while it was getting there now this is using alpha 21 which is only using 21 days worth of data in order to do the uh, calculation for ranking and it applies the most recent five days has the most weight so that might not be the kind of ranking that you want to use and if you want to change the function that's used for ranking you can open up the template on the hard drive copy it into just the edge club templates directory and then you can change this ranking function to be an another function or another script which is contained within edge Rater, and then that will be used for ranking and once you copy it into edge club the uh, template would then appear in your my templates uh, category which would appear uh, let's scroll down and we'll find my templates down here but I currently don't have any in there except for the test template okay and another way useful way of finding what's starting to trend in terms of industry groups is by using the new Morales and Catcher uh, template which not only finds signals for pivot points and buyable gaps but it also has uh, days above and days below the 10 period and 50 period moving average so I'm going to use that right now so I've collect, selected this template clicked on the template uh, I have the industries list that I exported um, still selected and now I'm going to run this template you can see it's processing the data and when that's finished it will come back with a list of pocket pivots and Bible gaps but I'm not interested in that for t this particular this particular view and purpose what I want to see is how many days clear of the 10 period and the 50 period moving average the index has been clear of those averages so I'll scroll down here so I've sorted this by days clear of the 10 period moving average so things that are just one day clear of the 10 period moving average mean, mean that they recently um, closed above the 10 period moving average things that have been above for a long time are things that have been probably trending the longest and then you can see how many days clear of the 50 period moving average they've been and get an idea of what what is actually trending once you've found um, these items you can click on them like with any template within edge rate if you if you double click on the cell it will bring up a chart and you're then able to see a chart of that um, index with the symbol and the name of the symbol in this case is distributors index which appears to have been trending the longest and again you can select the item in the template and or the report I should say that's been produced from the template and then start scrolling through and then you get quickly updated chart of those industry groups so reinsurance index has been trending for a pretty long time if I scroll down to let's find something that's that's been above the 10 period moving average for say only 10 days these are things that might be being rotated into so this index here let's take a look at that distillers and vintners index you see it's been above the 10 period moving average for only 10 days it had a, a cross down here but it's been above the 50 period moving average for quite a while we can see here 81 days so that obviously means that it's had a recently had a bit of a sell-off but uh, it has long-term strength so we can see that has been a long-term one um, if you want to see things that are being rotated into currently then you might want to look at things that have just been above the 50 period moving average so if I sort, sort by 50 and find out for instance this index here has been above the 50 for 13 days and above the 10 for 16 days that might be a good candidate for something that's that's up and coming in um, the rotation it's starting to trend so there we go and this is uh, insurance brokers index you see it has it does look like a, a trend has started to form here so that's another way of looking at uh, industry groups within edgerator so that's it for this video and thanks for watching